The Land of the Dead, the fourth Big Finish Doctor Who release, at least in the main range, first released in four parts in January of 2000, written by Stephen Cole across CD, download, and cassette. This is also the first solo story, at least, for the fifth Doctor, voiced by Peter Davison. He and his companion, Nyssa, voiced once again by Sarah Sutton, have just dropped off T and Javanka at Heathrow Airport. So yeah, once again, as I said with some previous stories, this takes place somewhere between Time Flight and Ark of Infinity. And they briefly end up in Alaska in the year 1964, but something ends up knocking them slightly off course, and they end up still in Alaska in 1994. They, they venture out, uh, tracing a mysterious energy source, where they come across a mysterious house. The house belongs to Alaskan millionaire Sean Brett, voiced by Kristen Scott. Now his father died in 1964 in a mysterious accident, so he has kind of been building this house to commemorate his late father and get you know, things back on track. Now um, amongst them helping him to build this house include interior designer Monica Lewis, voiced by Lucy Campbell, and two Koyakans, or half Koyakans, which is the Alaskan tribe. There's Chulung, voiced by Neil Roberts, and Gabarik, voiced by Andrew Fetz. However, they find out that building the house isn't quite as simple as they first thought, as the house is besieged by creatures that the Doctor calls Permeants, kind of predatory creatures from Earth around 260 million BC. And they're from the description, they're kind of like animated skeletons, like bone and cartilage, and they're supposed to kind of resemble dinosaurs, although, as the Doctor pointed out, they actually precede the dinosaurs from 260 million BC, and these Permians also have control over some of the elements, those being earth, wind, and water. They don't do fire because it's too uh, volatile. So they have to try and find out why the Permians are here, ultimately stop them from attacking, and find a way to escape the house unharmed. Now, I'd say this, is, for me, is kind of like a reverse of the last Fifth Doctor Big Finish story I reviewed, Primeval. While Primeval, I felt, started off a little slow, but got better at the end, The Land of the Dead, I personally think it had a good idea, and it started off strong, but then, I don't know, maybe it just didn't work for me at the end. I mean... This is the very first Big Finish story for the Fifth Doctor, and I do know they did get better later on. I do like the later adventures much more, stuff like, as I said, uh, Primeval, Spare Parts, Red Dawn. I feel those are all great stories. This one, I personally, as I said, I feel it started off strong, but just got a little weak towards the end. But maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe some other people really like The Land of the Dead. Let me know what you think of this story down in the comments. But I do think the setup of this story is really good. Kind of having the idea of being in a harsh, unforgiving landscape, which uh, I know probably not all of Alaska is harsh and unforgiving as they can portray it on TV and in films, but yeah, just having a kind of mansion, a kind of old mansion in the heart of the Alaskan mountains, or at least that's what I imagined. For the story, it, it's a good setting. Like, definitely, it's cold, it's unforgiving, anything could be trying to kill you up there. I feel the setup's good, I just don't necessarily know about the execution. But let me know what you think of this story. Do you think The Land of the Dead is one of the best or two big finished stories? I want to know your thoughts. Anyway. The next uh, Dot 2 Big Fish story I've got in the works, kind of listening through, is The Genocide Machine. I'll let you know what I think of that when I've come to it. And I've also got Battlefield, a quick view of it coming up. So, I'll let you know what happens then. Until then, see ya.